I was a chronic drug user. I was a heroin addict, a crack addict. Totally and utterly hopeless, broken. And I fell pregnant with my wee baby. She was the result of my last using. And I get social work in my life, you know, through my pregnancy. It's like, I don't know if I'm getting this baby. Don't know if I'm getting her home. Because it's all my past issues. And the midwife referred me to have her liver. And Avril comes into my life and she's got my back. Somebody has got my back and tells, does what they're going to say to them. I mean, she's not walking out the door and putting in different kinds of reports. And every area should have a wee Avril and a wee Diane in their corner. And no, I didn't, wasn't getting my baby. I really was not getting my baby. To one person to see that wee bit of hope. And the day my life's totally different. Totally and utterly different. You know, for appointments and the meetings and stuff, like, it was really a massive support. It was, uh, I was no longer on my own. Like, I had somebody that actually seen some kind of hope that there'd be a good outcome and somebody to kind of help fight my corner. I've never had the same experience with any other services. Like, I've never developed this connection with any services ever, ever. Like, there's a trust there, and I didn't trust very easy. But there's really a big trust there. There's too much judgment and people do change. There's just that much stigma against addiction and mental health that it's how you can recover a man's an addict always an addict as well. I'm proud of the mum that I am here. Like I actually am a mum. There's I'm present. I'm entirely there. Like she needs me. I'm there or we needs her met. She's come into my life and she's like a wee world when she's totally and utterly changed my life. Like, I like me today. Like, I think everybody, every area needs a parental support service. Like somebody that's just there and willing to listen. I was 24 weeks pregnant when I found out I was pregnant. I was a heroin addict um, and also used like other drugs, like everything. But I was like on the methadone program, just started my recovery. Um, but my partner at the time um, died um, through drugs um, and that was the night I found out I was pregnant. So it was the midwife that referred me on to Aberlewa. Like That was the first time I had ever heard of Aberlewa. Um, and obviously, yeah, I was happy just to accept all the support that I could get. So they came involved like pretty quick and they put me at ease I believe I my voice. Like, you get shunned off by a lot of people, eh? so um, I think if I didn't have, like, I believe speaking up for me then, that probably would have been the outcome, but that was my turning point. And obviously the support that I got from Aberlewa and everybody else as well um, helped that. Eh? It was personal, whereas, like, other places did, and again, they got the basic weather to do last stick last thing, but I believe I went over and above. The proudest thing being is like my life's actually normal. It's looking good for the future. I hope they see how important I believe it is um, and how important it is for it to be accessible, not just to this area, but to the rest of Scotland. I think it would give mothers, expectant mothers who have not had the best you know, like life um, and experiences, um, it can be life-changing for them and keep families together.